Okay, so it is an absolutely stunning day here at uh, the Strand Beach. Uh, it is uh, the 27th of December. Beautiful day today. I think the beach is going to be pumping. Uh, already this morning I came down early to uh, drop Courtney at work and uh, yeah, the beach is absolutely packed already. So I think uh, people will be streaming in to enjoy the good weather uh, that we are having at the beach today. Do you know, as I was uh, driving down here uh, to drop uh, Courtney at work, uh, I was just reflecting on the year and one of the things that I do throughout the year, it's a great privilege, is I travel quite a bit. And uh, often when I'm on an aeroplane, people ask me, so what do you do? I don't know if you get that uh, when you're sitting next to people on a bus or a plane or somewhere. And uh, it's always a strange thing for me to, to tell people I teach ethics. Uh, and they ask, well, what, what do you teach in ethics? And of course, there, there are two different kinds of things that we do when we teach ethics. The first is that um, I, I always tell people that ethics is uh, the study of what is good and what is right. And uh, perhaps one of the classical questions that's asked in, in ethics, certainly in Christian ethics, is the question, what is a good life? And uh, by that we don't mean what does it mean to have a good life, but rather what does it mean to live a good life? What is the good that we should be living uh, in our lives? And of course when we think about that, there are at least two ways in which we can uh, think about goodness in life. The first is uh, that the goodness in life uh, can have, uh, have something to do with uh, the, the, the way in which we describe what is good uh, in the kind of lives that we live in. This is called descriptive ethics. So often when I look at what's happening in politics or economics, uh, I can do a descriptive ethical analysis of that and say, well, perhaps this is good and that is not so good. That's descriptive. The second is uh, that we can have a sort of an applied goodness. Um, in other words, we can look at something, a situation and say, what would be the good thing to do? in this particular situation. What would be good or right or best? And uh, in ethics, we often deal not with what is morally right or good, uh, although that sometimes does feature, but moral questions tend to be relatively easy to resolve. Uh, for example, should we murder? Well, generally people would say, no, that's a moral question. There's a clear right and wrong. But often what we deal with are uh, these ethical dilemmas, an issue in which there's neither an entirely right or an entirely wrong answer. For example, uh, even though you may believe it's wrong to murder, what do you do if someone breaks into your house and threatens your life and the life of your family? Do you then have the right to take the life of another in defense of your own? Now that's a moral dilemma because the answer is not clear. It will probably depend quite a bit on the situation. And the question is how do you resolve uh, an ethical dilemma like that? How do you resolve, uh, for example, in Christian ethics, some of the issues that we deal with are issues around reproductive health and rights. How do we know when it's right uh, for a person to uh, be able to uh, choose to uh, have an abortion? Uh, how do they choose when it's right? Uh, to be able to do that uh, or around sexual identity and sexual uh, desire and sexual rights um, you know the church has struggled a great deal around the issue of uh, persons with the same sex orientation what should the good and the right be in that regard and how do we decide it so um, recently in uh, Christian ethics certainly there's been a turn to what is known as the Aristotelian uh, in fact uh, if you read uh, Sam Wells wonderful book an introduction to Christian ethics you'll see that he has a whole section there on the Aristotelian turn now the turn towards Aristotle has been a turn towards what is known as virtue ethics in other words what would a good person do it's called Ariatology and um, Aristotle was the person who uh, said you know what we what we continually do our habits uh, stem from who we are and who we are uh, will lead to what we do and uh, there's been this return towards virtue ethics to say that um, particularly as persons of faith if we are Christian or persons with a religious conviction that we have to begin to practice uh, our faith elements so that they become a part not just of what we believe but they actually become a part of what we do so maybe today I want to encourage you to think a little bit about that question what is a good life what would a good life be for you? What would a good life be for the people around you? People that you know, but more importantly, people that you don't know, uh, perhaps over whom your life has some influence or power. 
Maybe you work in a corporation and you're someone who, uh, who has uh, authority over others. Uh, maybe you have some influence in a school. Or maybe there's uh, some influence that you have economically or politically in your community. Maybe your religious tradition is a dominant tradition and there are minorities living in your area. The question is what would goodness be not only for you but also for others. So remember this is not a lecture, it's just a thought. And uh, yeah, if you encounter me on a plane or see me in the airport, you're welcome to ask me what I do. I might not be so good. I might uh, tell you a little white lie and say that I'm a car salesman or a teacher. Uh, but if I'm bold enough and I feel like having a conversation, I tell you that I teach ethics and we'll talk about some of these things. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the vlog. Like it if you found it to be useful. Share it with others. Uh, post it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Stick it on Tumblr. And of course you can connect with me at Digital Dion uh, on Twitter, on Instagram. And uh, I look forward to connecting you with you. Leave a question. Uh, leave a comment if you agree or disagree. If you have a better insight uh, or a good insight, leave it in the comments below and I'd love to respond to you. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to get on and enjoy a bit of beach weather uh, this morning.